Hi, it's Richard again um, from Le Breuil. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking to you all about, um, about filtration because we sometimes get people ringing us up saying, look, I've got a wine and it's, it's, it's okay, but it's just lacking that something, that sparkle that you would associate with commercial wines. And that's all down to filtration. If you buy a commercial wine, after it has been uh, fined or after they've used finings on it, they will always run it through a filter. And obviously the filter just gives it that real crisp sparkle. And there's no reason why we can't achieve that with our wines. It's very, very possible to do it, but unfortunately we're very limited in what is available on the market today. There's only two pieces of a kit that I would actually recommend. The first one is a company called Bueno Vino, and they come from Canada. And two very good friends of mine, Peter and Anthony, own the company. They've been operating from Canada for about 35 years now. Um, they're Italian, and obviously they've got a long history of um, being involved in the wine industry. Peter uh, is my, uh, my real friend, although Anthony, his younger brother, is, uh, is good company as well. But Peter's the one who really loves his wine. And he developed this machine um, really for people at home to be able to produce that professional quality finish to their wines that had been lacking. And it's a small electric filter called the Minijet. And basically what we have is we have a tube coming in. The tube coming in has an anti-sediment device, has a metal strip inside it, metal rod inside it, which can obviously then go into your container. So fits in into your container of wine. It would just slot in there. As you can see, the liquid will then come. The other good thing about the Buenvino filter is it actually works as a pump. So you don't need to lift all this stuff up onto worktops and what have you. You can do it from the worktop. So we can pump from the bottom. You can see it coming in through here. It goes into the pad arrangement and inside here will sit three pads. And you have a choice. You've got polished pads, you've got coarse pads and you've got sterile pads. So you have a choice of three different pads that you can use for your wine. I'll come on to um, the quality of your wine when you first start because that is really quite important. But I'll come on to that in a minute. So the three pads we would soak in water and then we'll slot into these compartments here. The liquid then goes through here and it goes zigzagging through all the pads and it will then come back out through here into our container and that will be the finished wine that has been given that polish. So there's a little switch on the back. You can hear that. Every so often, it normally does it itself, but every so often you might just need to give it a prime and just give this a really good suck and you'll start to see the liquid coming through. Important to run some water through before you actually start. That just cleans the pads and make sure that they are really, there's no taste of pad coming into your wine. But the, the Buenvino filter is superb. It really is a great piece of kit. This is my own personal one that I have at home uh, and I use for polishing all my wines. I run everything through it. So let's just talk about the wine. What we're looking for with the wine is the wine wants to be clear before it is run through any filter. So still treat your wine, still use the finings that come with it, especially if it's a kit. If it's a country wine, make sure it's been treated because the pads will clog up very quickly if the wine is not clear. If the wine's clear, that's fine. You'll be able to run plenty through. With the mini jet, through one set of pads, I have had three five gallon containers because they're all nice and clear. If the wine's not clear, we need to be thinking in terms of using the coarse pads and then we'll have to run them through the polish. If the wine's lovely and clear, then all we have to do is just run it through the polish. That's all we've got to do. The sterile pads are very good for taking out things from country wines. You won't really use the sterile pads 
if you are using kit wines. It's more for the unusual things that findings don't seem to shift, that the sterile pads will work. So that's a little bit about the, the, the Buenvino filter. The second filter on the market, it does look a little bit of a, a mess there, doesn't it? I've, I've actually just taken it to bits so that we can see what's involved. But this is the uh, Harris filter. It's the Vimbright filter, been around for about oh, 30 years. It's, it's, it does the job, it's basic, but for around 20 quid, it's not crown jewels, but it works on gravity. So we need to use this one for gravity. So if again, I'll just outline what happens. We obviously siphon from our container, which would be up here, and this will sit on the top of the container that we're siphoning into. So as I say, it is a gravity fed system. All we'll do is we'll put the spindle in to start first. The pad will then go on top of the spindle, which has been pre-soaked. We then tighten up the holding plate into position and then the base will clip on and that has got a center there that will just slot in the top of a container and we then get the liquid running through it's quite simple as I say it does the job but again the wine does need to be clear before we actually run it through so the Vimbright filter will do the job for you, a little bit basic, obviously not in the same league as the Buenvino filter, but it's not the price. We're looking around the 20-ish quid for the Harris, the Buenvino, we're looking at between 150 and 200 pounds. So there's a, quite a difference between the two. Don't forget, this little baby can be used to pump as well as filter. So if you are struggling lifting, no reason why you can't use that to act as your pump. Okay, that's filtration.